So today we're going to be talking about work from home online jobs and why most people unfortunately fail. We will be covering the three most critical stages from working from home and becoming successful. All the things that we're covering today are applicable no matter where you live in the world and no matter what work from home online job you have. Hey everybody, it's Graham here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I help break down various areas of an online business and provide money-making tips into bite-sized chunks to assist in your path to online success. If you are new to my channel and you like watching content around making money online and growing online businesses, then please take some time to subscribe and smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content I release in the future. Also, don't forget to hit that little like button, turn it blue, so that YouTube will see the likes on the video and show this video to more awesome people just like you. So let's get into it. With work from home online businesses, the crux of the matter is people either make a lot of excuses or they make a boatload of money. Unfortunately, you can't have excuses and make money. It's an either or thing. So you gotta choose one or the other. If you're the type of person who figures things out no matter what and you're a super resourceful person, you will become the one who's most successful. We will be covering the three stages from working from home. You'll be able to use these and grow it into a full-time career or business and be able to leave your nine to five. While you begin to scale and earn a significant income from the comfort of your home, only using your laptop and an internet connection. To do this, the two key secrets that you need to understand are these. Key secret number one. It takes work to find success. No matter what you do, unfortunately you can't skip the part of where you just need to work hard. It's a complete mindset shift and you need to adjust your thinking in order to become successful. Otherwise, it'll make you pretty miserable. If you want to become that 1%, you need to do what 99% of the other people are not willing to do. So if you want to be that 1% of people who make a ton of money, travel the world and do what you want, then you need to be doing what most people only dream of. Or where most people only say, maybe one day I'll get to that, or maybe one day I'll start that. You need to be that 1% who get to that and start that. If you come to the understanding that you need to put in a lot of work, and you are willing to go all in to achieve your goal, then you're already on the way to having the understanding and the mindset for you to become super successful. Key secret number two, as an entrepreneur, you either have more time or you have more money. Unless you're one of those lucky few who are super rich trust fund babies. So you're either in the field of having more time to spare or more money to spare. Now people like my fellow South African Elon Musk are certainly in the more money playing field. He has grown to the point where he has got a massive team and a large number of personal assistants who take care of daily tasks that he needs done. He has a private jet that he can use to fly anywhere in the world in the fastest period of time. He has all these things working together based on the wealth that he has built to make things in his life as efficient as possible. But as we all know, it didn't start out that way. So when starting out in stage one, and you'll probably be like the majority of us who are not trust fund babies, and you'll have to take the time to do things now that you'll probably not be willing to do one year, two year, three years down the line from now. Especially when you grow your success and have a lot more money at your disposal. To give you an example of what you gotta do to make as much money as you can, however you can, from the age of 14 years old, I used to pack bags at a grocery store and take the groceries out to people's cars. I even had a part-time job on the weekends at a snack shop and a restaurant. I was even a waiter for all of one whole day at a coffee shop where I worked for about 12 hours and got a measly 20 bucks throughout that time. I did what I could to earn enough money so that I can reinvest that money into better things, whether it be upskilling myself or buying stocks and companies and sometimes buying a few things here and there that I'd like. Even at school, we had this thing called Entrepreneur Day, where you could sell things like food, beverages, sweets, biltong, some of you know biltong as beef jerky, and you could sell these items for a profit. Or, if you were me, you would get the teachers to do the work and make the biltong, or beef jerky, and then I would run their stand for them and sell their biltong at a higher price than what they wanted me to sell it at, and essentially, I walked away with more profit than their profit share. No matter what it is, do what you have to do so that you don't have to do these mundane tasks in the future. So in saying that, what I've mentioned now leads directly into stage one. Stage one is just this. You need to make as much money as you possibly can, ethically of course, and save that money so that you can reinvest it into stage two. 
Stage one means doing whatever you can to make money, whether it be taking surveys, whether it be testing websites or apps, whether it be even mowing the lawn. Either way, do what you can to make as much money as soon as possible. And if you want to check out a video where you get ideas on using apps to make money, the link is either there or there somewhere. Now in saying that, are these things a good use of your time a few months down the line when you've saved up some money? Absolutely not. But while you're trying to earn your first few dollars online and you have the time to spare, by all means do them. Another way to make money based on the skills you may have is the service-based industry. You can use platforms such as Fiverr, Upwork, and there's numerous of these platforms out there, where you go and perform a service for someone by accepting one of their gigs, and in return for your time and your task performed, they will then pay you for that. If I just think of a few tasks on this YouTube channel where I would outsource to someone else on Upwork or Fiverr, that would be things like editing this video or transcribe this video into subtitles and translating of those subtitles. There is a service out there that anybody can do, you just need to figure out which one you want to do. So essentially, stage one is saving up all the money that you've earned from these side hustles and reinvesting it into stage two. So stage two is where you take all that income from stage one and you reinvest it into something that can earn you a full-time source of income. Stage two is where you want to pick a particular niche so that you can work in that niche. As they say, the riches are in the niches. What you need to do is choose something that you are passionate about and learning more towards. And in doing that, you're trying to become an expert in this particular area or niche. This can pretty much be anything you can think of. And to name a few examples, it can be an e-commerce store, it can be digital marketing side of it where you run Facebook ads or Google ads for different businesses in your area or around the world, Shopify and dropshipping, the list and opportunities are endless. The crux is you choosing one that you are passionate about and one that you think you can make a lot of money in and drive your focus on that. Also remember one thing, you don't have to drive all your focus just on one thing. You can test the waters with a few things just to see what works for you. Ask for other people's feedback and advice as well. Once you've had all that feedback at your disposal, you can then decide which one is better for you and that's the one that you go all in on. And that is the one that has the best potential for you, the best long-term potential for you, and the best way for you to grow and scale to earn as much money as possible. Once you decide on what that one is that you're going all in on, you then reinvest the money that you've made into upskilling yourself with different courses, different training materials, maybe a mentor or two, and growing by implementing what you've learned. As an example, if you're running a digital media agency, what you could do to grow your network and word of mouth as fast as possible is go out to smaller businesses and do jobs for them for free. That way they see what you can do for them, they see the results and your network spreads and your customer base spreads. Further down the line, this will grow into more money for you. The truth is you don't have to be great to start. You just need to start to be great. Everyone who has ever become successful, they all started from scratch. So to become the expert that I know you can become, prepare yourself to start from scratch and make it work. That then leads into stage three. This stage can be interpreted differently for different people. The crux is, you have now gotten to the point where you're running a successful business. You are making good amounts of money and that money covers your expenses as well as other things that you want. The choice then comes down to where you see your direction moving from this point forth. And again, this is different for each individual. You can possibly create things like courses where you teach people to replicate the success you've had do public speaking and share your knowledge at conferences around the world or via online webinars, or you can invest your money into other asset vehicles such as real estate or stocks. Whatever your path is, what makes you happy is not what makes somebody else happy. Whatever your path to happiness is, don't let anybody else out there influence you. In stage three, the only person who will understand the path that you need to take is you. So whether that's growing your business to make your life extremely comfortable, where you can pretty much afford anything you desire, go on any trip that you want and do anything that you want, or building the next billion dollar brand. Either way, that depends on you and what drives your happiness. Go out there, follow your dreams, get better by doing, and success will be yours. For further tips, tricks, and strategies, check out these videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found value in it. If you did, please hit that like button, turn it blue, as it'll really help out this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos I release in the future. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.